Hello everyone, it's Marie here from Sydney, Australia. Thank you all so much for joining me. It has been quite a while since I've done my last video. A lot has changed in that time um, around at home. So basically now I have the place to myself again, which is lovely. My husband has found a uh, different job now and he's able to work in the office. So that gives me the opportunity to be able to create content here interruption free without having my husband at home constantly with meetings where I have to keep quiet and to be honest it kills the creativity for me when that when that is the case and um, I can't predict when I can and can't make videos because we are in an apartment so we're all kind of sharing a small space together so uh, it makes it difficult to create things in saying that, I have been dabbling in other types of crafts. I may or may not bring that into this channel, but at this stage, I'm quite happy to keep this a card making channel uh, where I just use whatever I have. And if I buy something new, I'm quite happy to show that to you as well and create with it too. What I'm showing you here is something really fun. I've uh, recently been a subscriber of Creative Fabrica. I'm not sure if you've heard of it or not but um, that website is fantastic it has all sorts of cool stuff on it and I mean I, I, you know I highly encourage everybody to go and have a look and see what's on there and it really is amazing you can do so many things and one of the best things about it is when you buy these images or you are a subscriber to the website as well um, you are able to have a commercial license so you can freely create with these files and um, make cards and all sorts of other fun crafts and sell them uh, without infringing copyrights and whatever else so I highly recommend it um, I haven't bought many physical stamp sets because I haven't felt the need for it and um, Creative Fabrica has a ton of cool stamps on their st digital stamps um, and I highly encourage everyone to go and have a look so this the cool stamp set here, this digital stamp, is such a cute <laughs> stamp set I could not resist and I love gnomes. And this is what this uh, digital stamp is called Bumblebee Gnomes. Uh, you can download that off Creative Fabrica. You can change the size, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with this stamp set. I've kept it to the dimensions that is on here. And I'm going to create a fun, cute card quickly with this. Um, but I'm going to concentrate on this really cute gnome here. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> I just love it. I cannot resist gnomes. And so I thought it would be fun as well to couple that with the Hive um, 3D embossing folder as well. Now, my creations generally are really, really simple. So I'm going to keep this simple. You, of course, can add and subtract and do all sorts of fun things as you see fit. So what I'm creating my card with is I love white card bases. I just love it. This is just Stampin' Up's Whisper White um, card base. This is the thick one. I've cut and scored it in half and I'm just going to um, burnish the score line here. And I also have a piece of regular Whisper White cardstock from Stampin' Up. And that's this. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is do something a bit fun. I'm going to add a fun element to it. And what I'm going to do is basically rip it in a non-like like fashion. Like, it's just whatever. Whatever floats my boat sort of thing. It's just to add a fun element in the background. And I don't care that the rip there is shown here. What I should have done it is done it like that way. But I did it <laughs> this way. It really doesn't matter. You do what you want to do. Um, I'm just going to continue on with this one. I want it to be kind of random. What I'm going to do with this piece of cardstock is I'm going to add um, color to it and I'm going to emboss it so it adds like a fun element in the background you don't have to use any special dies for this and um, I'm going to keep that I think straight down the bottom 
like so. So it's going to look like that on top. It's just a fun element. Um, keep these scraps as well for stamping later on. So I'll show you everything as I go along. And um, I'm going to keep this now. Actually, I will colour on it. I'm just going to get out my craft sheet. Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place. I'm a bit rusty as well with making videos. But I hope you like my haphazard <laughs> um, fun sort of crafting um, I mean I'm not affiliated with any company so I'm just really enjoying it so I've got some distress oxides feel free to use colors of your choice I'm using distress oxide wild honey tumbled glass and fossilized amber and I've got a couple of nouveau large blending brushes these are cool um, I've got one for each color so the blue has one doesn't matter whether it's dark blue or light blue that just gets that just gets used and wiped with a microfiber cloth and I've got now one for yellow which I will use for the fossilized amber and for the wild honey um, it's not really a yellow but it's kind of on the dark side I'll just go with it I don't care <laughs> So I'm just going to now start um, with the tumbled glass. So I'll just give this a wipe before I start using it. And I like how it's got its own little kind of case there. I think that should be fine. I'm just going to use the back of it to make sure that no colour comes off. And it doesn't. So that's cool. So I'm just going to grab now the tumbled glass and just tap off and just go on there around and around I like the way um, this kind of handles like it, it it's just really cool I like it and I love working with distress oxides I'm going to send this cool card off to a friend of mine to thank her for supporting my little side business which is very nice of her going to wipe that area off that's it with the blue it's a very light blue and I'm just going to wipe that off now I'm going to grab the fossilized amber this is a brand new brush um, and I'm just going to start going on there and I'll even go on, I'll just pick up whatever uh, ink is on my mat and I'll use that as well. And this is just random colouring, no rhyme or reason, just do it your way as well. This is just to give you ideas that, you know, crafting doesn't have to be overly perfect and especially if you're rusty like me and it's been a while you can try just different cool fun stuff it makes no you know it, it doesn't have to be perfect just have fun with it it's so much fun all right so I'm going to grab my wild honey now tap that off and I'll just go now over the top and it just adds a really nice golden it's a stunning color and with um, sort of looks like that <laughs> it's a real mess but hey who cares it's all about having fun right so I'm going to wipe that off Okay, so I've finished now cleaning. <laughs> I always clean between colours so that I don't contaminate the next time I use them because knowing me, that's exactly what I'll do. So what I'm going to use now is the Stampin' Up! 3D embossing folder, the Hive one. Feel free, of course, to use whatever <laughs> floats your boat. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Love it. Okay, so 
I'm going to pop this in here and I think that will look spectacular. I'm just going to grab my die cutting machine. It's a little on the dusty side. It's sad, isn't it? I haven't used it for so long, but because I've got everyone out of the house now, I am happy to create on my own, talk as loud as I like, <laughs> and just have fun. So, I'm going to pop this on here. Use my number four plate or whatever your sandwich is uh, for your machine. And I'll just pop that through. And I'll put this away. And let's see how this has turned out. Oh wow, that is cool. Look at that, that is really 3D. Wow, okay, that's the first time I've used this um, embossing folder, so there you go. So now what I'm going to do is just pop it on here as a fun element. That is just spectacular, right? I love that. So I'll pop this away and I'll keep things neat so that I don't make everything go all over the place. And then what I'm going to do is stick that down with some glue and use whatever um, one you want. I like using the PVA Crafter's Choice. I can get that from Spotlight um, really cheaply and it lasts me literally years. So, love it. <laughs> so, I look at that underside. That looks cool too, but I like this side. So what I'm going to do now is just glue this directly down. To my card base and it's just a fun element move that over to the side and as I said there is no rhyme or reason to this other than it just looks cool I'm a bit random these days with my thought processes <laughs> why not <laughs> all right so I'll just hold that down because the, the page is you know quite textured just want to make sure it sticks down. I hope everyone's been well. And, and you know, apologies for not posting um, up videos, uploading videos. As I said, sometimes life just prevents you from doing it. Um, and also creativity sometimes just does not come to me as, um, as easily as, as it used to as well. Because I'm not making videos to sell i'm just making videos for fun so it's whenever really inspiration hits so now i'm going to use this super cute stamp set and i'm going to use my colored pencils as per usual i find that this is very cost effective for me these are just the albrecht dura watercolor pencils from faber castell um, you can use these dry or wet. I like to use my pencils along with a Copic marker. Now I've got two markers here. I've got the Copic Chow and I also have this um, rectangular uh, square barreled sort of um, one. I like the square barreled one because it's got a really fine tip there, that one there. And I like the Copic Chow as well because it's also the least, um, it's a little bit cheaper than buying uh, the bigger one. But also I like the tip, the brush tip. So it's all good there. Alright, just bear with me for one moment and I'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. But um, I just wanted you to see how this looks as well on the card base. Okay, so I was talking about the watercolour pencils. Basically what I use the alcohol markers for is, is, this is very unconventional of course, but I use them to um, brush out the strokes so it looks nice and smooth and it almost looks like you did use an alcohol marker to colour the whole thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lower you, zoom in actually, so you can see the colours that I'm going to use. and. Um, I'm going to put some nice calming music on and away we go, so enjoy.
so I have now finished colouring this super cute image but before I um, zoom out I'm just going to zoom in a little more so you can see how I coloured that and I think it turned out really really cool I just love it it is so cute I'm dying from the cuteness <laughs> so now I'm just going to zoom you out and um, and that's it so I just basically use my watercolor pencils and my Copic markers just the zero colorless blenders you can do that with any zero colorless colorless alcohol blender with with watercolor pencils and you'll get the same results so that is way cool love it so what I'm going to do off camera is if you see that together on this it will look spectacular I am going to cut this out with my brother scan and cut and then we'll come back here and finish off the card I and I am going to add a sentiment so whilst I'm off cutting this with my brother scan and cut I'll bring in a sentiment as well to put on there so I can send that off to my friend so we'll be back shortly so I am back now from um, using my brother scan and cut so I'm just going to take off this sheet and um, can I just say digital stamps are so versatile you will love it so I highly recommend getting digital stamps and cutting them out either fussy cutting or you can even use you know uh, a brother scan and card you can use your um, um, what's it called the silhouette cameo as well and use the pick scan mat and you can do the exact same thing and that turned out spectacular love it so much and it is so adorable so cute so this is the mat that you get with the brother scan and card if you haven't already got one and I'm just going to put the protective mat over the top and then I'm done with that so I always um, I put the sticker on here that I had from the machine itself just to remind me that the that's the top part so I don't um, you know get adhesive everywhere I'll fix this up off camera but there you go how cute is that and you know with digital stamps as well you can size them any size you like put them on anything you like I highly recommend that you know if budgets are a problem as well having a digital stamp set is really cost effective as well like that if you're into that so I can put the stamp there but I think it's missing and it needs some other things here oh, let me think let me think I'm just having a think guys <laughs> so sorry um, I might bring out actually an old Stampin' Up stamp set actually and I'm going to stamp some tiny little bumblebees. I'll just have a think about that. In the meantime, I brought out my My Favourite Things Biddy Bears stamp set. I featured it in my last video and I'm actually going to use the sent uh, sentiment um, you are the sweetest and then I'm going to use this sentiment here too but I'm just going to um, use the thank you there you are the sweetest and then thank you so I'll line those up I'm just going to get my stamp positioning tool and I use the stamp artist I have another two stamp tools to, as well but I like the Stamparatus' size um, even though I'm no longer a demo I still like it and I still use it so I will pop the card base in here I'm going to get out this stamp you are the sweetest And I'm just going to use a laminated quilter's grid here and uh, I'm just going to use this for positioning and I'll just ensure that it is lined up correctly and this is a great way of lining up these sentiment stamps and this is like full multimedia stuff like it's just I like that you can use both digital and traditional card making things all in the one hit and that's the beauty of digital stamp sets as well as using ink and paper uh, you can do both why not 
So I'm just going to use my Distress Oxide Black Soot. Why not? Because I've got these on hand at the moment. But you can use Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm just going to lightly tap on that. And that stamped it out perfectly. Just love it. Um, I think I may keep it to You Are The Sweetest. But I really do think that having little bumblebees flying around the gnome will be super cute as well. And it will go very nicely with this um, image as well. So bear with me. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to bring in that Stampin' Up! stamp set that has the cute little bees on it. And it is a retired set, but I think it's called A Little Wild from memory. I'm going to bring that back. I'm going to stamp these images, cut them out, and I'll see you shortly. Just bear with me. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to use the A Little Wild stamp set. It's got these cute little bumblebees, and I also have the matching dies. So rather than going back to my brother's scanner cart, setting that up again, I'm just going to use the dies on this one. So as you can see, I'm just using a mishmash of everything. So loads and loads of fun. So I'm going to grab that stamp. I'm going to use my Stamparatus. And I'm going to use the scrap that I had before, and I'll just rip off that because it gets in the way and I'll pop that into my Stamparatus now I've got a clear grip um, sheet which is just clings on it's it's not even adhesive it just clings off it's like a vinyl clings on to my Stamparatus and this is for the older style um, Stampin' Up um, cling stamps that did not cling very well but this cling film really um, helps make it cling so it's really cool all right so I'm just going to use my black sort since I have it on hand and I'll just stamp it on very gently and that's how that looks but I'm not happy with how that turned out so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to start again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just do it gently though. Super gently. I think I pressed a little too hard. So that's the beauty of having a Stamparatus is... That turned out much better. Can you see that? So, I'm going to clean this off. I'll just give that a couple of minutes to dry because... It's a pigment uh, and also dye ink, a hybrid. Just give it a little bit of time to dry off. And I'll put that away. And guys, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts as well. Do you like seeing content like this where I use a mishmash of things? And do you want to see some more digital stamps and some gems that I find from Creative Fabrica. Now there can be digital stamp sets, there can also be um, PNG sets where um, there's also clip arts as well. If you're happy for me to show you uh, that kind of stuff too, I'll be more than happy to um, do that as well. So let me know your thoughts if you enjoyed looking at the Creative Fabrica stuff because it's loads of fun. There we go. I think these stamps will look adorable. There's the dye for that. But before I do that, I forgot I've got to colour those in. So I'm just going to grab some pe uh, a pencil. Watercolour pencil. And I don't, I don't think I'll even use the alcohol marker. I'll just do it straight because they're just so tiny. So I'll just grab the yellow. Just colour those in and I'll leave them like that because they're just too tiny to colour in 100% you know with shading and what have you I just find it too tiny 
and my eyesight's failing me. So, I wanted to show you a trick too. If you happen to have the, no, don't worry about that trick. Don't mind that. Don't mind me. I just talk gibberish sometimes. All right. So, I'll get my die cutting machine. Grab your appropriate sandwich and cut out your bees. If okay. Well, they cut out beautifully, as predicted. Very nice. And I'll just grab now. My Marvi Jewel Picker. I love this thing so much. A lot of people have turned away from it, but I actually like it still. Works a treat. Just pop this in here so I don't misplace my die. So small I can easily do that. So I pop that away. And those are my little cut bees. So I'll just angle you in so you can see that. See that? Aren't they cute? They're really tiny but I think it'll add a really nice touch around here. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pop this gorgeous little gnome up on some dimensionals. So okay so she's popped up on some dimensionals. And she looks adorable on there check that out how cute so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dollop where I would like the um, the little bumblebees so I'm just going to dollop them just around in a, in a trio there so I'll grab that one and I'll pop that on here this one will go here and then this one will go there So this is the Marvi Jewel Picker. It picked it up really nicely. Um, I have the Silhouette one, but I find that the putty, I've had it for a few years and the putty's become almost like liquid. It's gone really weird. So I like these ones that have got like a sticky end and you can also get even like, uh, what's it called? Um, tape runner and you can use the adhesive off that and make it sticky again. I've done that a couple of times and it's worked really well. So there you have it guys. Now it looks really cute with the addition of the little bumblebees. How gorgeous is that? I love the 3D effect. I like that ripped effect. I didn't know how else to do it. I mean you could use a stencil and that but I love the dimension of the embossing folder. I think it adds really nice touch. So there you have it guys and also with this background that I did with the, you know, the, with the dimensional um, embossing on it, you can also just use a plain shape like a circle or a triangle or whatever floats your boat but I love this effect, it is so, so cool. So anyway guys, I, I'm going to keep it to the you are the sweetest, I think it's so, so cute and digital stamps, get into them, they are cost effective. You can um, print them off as many times as you like. You can change their dimensions. You can go nuts. So let me know in your comments below if you like this card. Also, let me know if you would like me to continue on showing um, digital stamps and also PNGs cut out and put onto a card and making it in a traditional sort of way. Okay, guys, thank you all so much for persevering and watching my video. And I will see you again next time. Bye for now.